Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Nightface here. It's been a long time, but I have to bring you this Blu-ray unboxing. It's a Walmart exclusive pickup of Logan. That's right. This is, in my opinion, the best film of 2017 by far. And it, it goes on my top five films. I've seen it four or five times, and this was a must-own on Blu-ray or 4K or whatever. I mean, just go out there and buy this movie. This movie deserves all the praise. Hopefully some Academy Award nominations. Yep, that's right. I'm dead serious. It's that good. I love this movie to death. It, Hugh Jackman did an amazing job. Just an outstanding performance. You know, giving Wolverine his last ride. His last hurrah in this film. And also the standouts. Uh, Patrick Stewart gave another great performance. Portraying Professor Xavier again. And Daphne Keene, X-23. She's the real breakout star here um this little girl's amazing in this film if you haven't seen this film you gotta watch it but um i'll probably go into spoilers later on at the end of this video but yeah this is the walmart exclusive you can see it has comes with a three disc set limited edition oh you can see that nine cards are real exclusive legacy poster at walmart i went with the walmart exclusive because i just i just think that idea of um you know, the cards and the poster are a lot better. I've seen the Best Buy um, exclusive, the Steelbook, which looked cool, but it gave it that comic book -y feel, and I don't believe this film is that. This film is not like any typical comic book film. This is like a more of a Western drama with superhero elements thrown into it. Um, you know, it gave me... I haven't had that feel of a comic book movie since The Dark Knight, and... In my opinion, I do believe it's a tad bit better than The Dark Knight, which is crazy. I thought I would never say that because I'm a huge, huge uh, Batman fan. But Logan just stayed with me. I mean, just that ending, it was just so much emotion, so emotional. Just a great send-off to the Wolverine character. But yeah, let's open this up, shall we? Get rid of this plastic here. All right. I can't wait to rewatch this. They have the um <sighs> Alright, so there's the front right there. Sorry for the camera angle. You know, I'm just recently moved, so gotta get all my equipment right. But yeah, in the back you see right there limited edition, the the cards and the legacy poster right there. Pretty cool. High obtain action. Unexpectedly moving, I have to agree. Includes theatrical and Logan Nor, which is the black and white version. I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah, so this is what you get. You get this booklet first. Very nice, glossy black. I love it. It's like an envelope. Wow, look at that. I'm definitely going to get fingerprints all over this. <laughs> But, um, let's open it up. Let's be careful with it. So, in the envelope, you get, oh, this is, oh, this is so cool. Is this, yep, these are the cards, I believe. Let's share, oh, nice. Weapon X, that's from uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Great scene. Probably the best scene in Apocalypse, X-Men Apocalypse. Um, you get Logan. From Logan, awesome. Um, let's see what else we got. It's pretty cool, man. This is from Days of Future Past. Um, yeah, in the seventies, Logan in the seventies with bullet holes. Uh, that was a pretty awesome scene. All right, let's see what else. I love this. This this picture is probably my favorite, even though I wasn't a huge fan of The Wolverine. And that's due to studio interference. I mean, it's directed by the same director, James Mangold. I do believe that film has so much potential to be a great Wolverine story set in Japan. But, you know, studio interference and all that bullshit. And they ruined the third act. But thank God we didn't get that with Logan. I mean, they knocked it out of the park with Logan. But anyway, I love that. It's such an iconic shot. Wolverine. This is, I think, this, I do believe this is when he was in that hole uh, in Japan when they dropped that nuke it's pretty cool I mean, you see him holding the katana 
Alright, what else we got here? Um, not sure which X-Men movie this is. It might be First Class when they ran into him at the bar. He's like, hi, my name is Charles Xavier. I'm Eric Lancer. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> might be that scene. I love that scene. Um, let's see here. This is from definitely uh, X-Men, The Last Stand. I do remember him going into the woods. It has to be X-Men, The Last Stand, I do believe. Which was, okay, not the worst one. You, we all know which one's the worst one. And, oh, here it is. X-Men Origins with that. I, I didn't like his hairdo there. <laughs> oh, man, with those fake CGI animation claws. You can just forget about that one. And Lord and behold. Oh, that's so cool. Hmm. Oh, you put these together. Wow. I did not know that you put all these together and make like a cool little poster out of it. Pretty neat. This is X Men 1 and X Men 2. X2, X Men United. So, yeah, the cards are pretty cool. I like them. And of course, there you have the standard Blu ray right there. You know, Logan, beautiful, just amazing. All right, let's take a look inside. Nice. I think the steel book should have been that right there. You see this? But it's not. It's not too comic booky, in my opinion. You know, it kind of ruins the tone. That's why I didn't get that Best Buy steel book. The Target exclusive had like this. Uh, Digi book that was black and white, which is pretty cool, but I don't know. I just like the cards for some reason. It's pretty cool. But anyway, movie, special features, and then you got Logan Nor, which I can't wait to watch. But yeah, let's talk about Logan real quick. We'll wrap up this video. Logan, to me, is a 10 out of 10. I have to give it a review. Ten, a solid 10 out of 10. Um, it's a masterpiece. The ending was just so moving. Uh, it really hit me home. I mean, the performances, like I said, it's just amazing. Um, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to spoil it. Uh, when, you know, Wolverine dies right next to X-23, you know, and it says, so this is how it feels like. Oh, man, it just it just tugs at your heartstrings. It's just the best send-off to this character and he's been doing it for 17 years, so high praise to Hugh Jackman, uh, the best Wolverine. It's going to be hard to replace him if they move on with other future Wolverine movies. But you know what? I'm, I'm glad they ended it. I'm glad they ended it. So, uh, yeah, that that's my review, and this is the, my unboxing. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Great film. Can't wait to rewatch it. Uh, let me know what you thought about the movie. Till next time.